tie your bowsy first establish which way round it should go. The bowsy has a top side and a bottom side, an anchor side and a load side. Always start at the anchor side. This is where the dynema will have been secured to the boat or part of the rigging. First point of entry of the bowsy is the single hole with the cutaway, which will be on the bottom. Then out the top of this hole, straight back down the next, and then take the dynema to the load element. The load element will be an eyelet or a tube joiner or metal ring or something. Once through the load element, the dynema then travels back to the bowsy and enters at the bottom where the cutaway precedes a double hole. Then out of this hole, finished with a stopper knot, and then the knot will sit inside this recess. Now let's see an example of that on the boat. Position the bowsy and pull any excess dynema through. Mark the dynema with a marker pen where you want the knot to be. Pull the bowsy away from the mark so you can tie a knot. Place the return loop of the knot behind the mark and then hold the mark with a pair of tweezers. Pull the running end to tighten the knot, then the tweezers will prevent the knot from forming beyond the mark. So this will be in exactly the right place when complete. It may be necessary to tie a second knot on top of the first to make sure it's big enough to block the bowsy hole, because if the knot is too small, it will pull through the bowsy hole when under tension. It's also good practice to coat the finished knot with a dab of superglue, but make sure it has dried before you pull the knot onto the bowsy, because the dynema needs to run freely through the bowsy for it to work properly. Tidy the loose ends of Dyneema by putting a dab of superglue where you want the cut to be. Then use a sharp blade to make the cut. The superglue will prevent the Dyneema from fraying. Also, using more Dyneema than is needed for the job will make tying knots and cutting ends much easier to manage. In the following videos of this series, whenever a bowsy is required, it should be installed in the same way as shown here, by establishing the load side and the anchor side first. And finally, when building your sail rig, try to set up really good lighting, as this helps enormously when trying to tie knots in very small gauge dynema. Well, I hope that's been useful for somebody. Thanks for watching, and apparently you should be clicking an up thumb button or something. I don't know. Anyway, see you next time.